out with the Seth once again. This time we're not on 4S, we are on 6S. And this time, oh my God. And this time we have some 3.8 inch Badlands that are quite old. Oh, what caused it to do that? That was weird. All right, that was very weird. I don't know what to make of that one. Um, and I'm also doing something else here. I've got an AVC receiver and I'm using my DX5C uh, to drive this thing now. And I'm wanting to see how it performs. Um, one of the things that was going on with the car previously was it's kind of hard to keep in a straight line. <laughs> and it seems to be the case here as well. It doesn't like to do wheelies. It seems to be freaking out. I think AVC is uh, is to blame for this, actually. Yes, he doesn't like it, eh? Does not like it one bit. Um, and 6S for this car is just overkill. Like, it's way too much, personally. I think this is crazy. But we'll give it a shot. I'm barely going over half throttle here. I can't really do much with it. I've got AVC turned down to 30%. I figured that was a, a good starting point. I may turn my throttle down on AVC. Because, wow, this thing is so fast. So, so fast. Ballistically fast. Oi. I wonder if I'm going to rip the Badlands off the rims with this much power. This is, uh, this is a little bit crazy. We're going to try and do some jumps and hopefully we don't wreck this beautiful car. Oh, so far so good. The problem with this car on 6S is that it's not usable power. I mean, a lot of people will argue that oh, there's such thing as too much power. And to a certain extent, you're probably right. But as you can see, there is such a thing as too much power because I just, I just touched the throttle to correct it and I ended up doing more harm than good. It just takes a little bit of time to get used to this, this sort of power. And normally 6S, like I've driven 6S cars plenty of times in my time. I am very familiar with the power and all of that. But um, every now and again you come across an RC where 6S just feels a bit out of place. It feels like, nah, I don't know what's happened here. Like, it's just too much. And this is one of those cars. It just feels like it's a bit overdone. I'm barely going to quarter throttle here. Like, this, this will do backflips so easily. <laughs> With these tires on 6L, I mean, it's definitely, I definitely enjoy it more on 4S, but I wanted to try it on 6S just to, uh, just to show, and I guess to see for myself whether or not it was even usable. I mean, you can definitely use it as you can see, I can use the car, it's just I'm not using the full range of the power. All right, let's go on the bigger jump. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> it's actually, okay, at this time I have to say I'm a little bit, a little bit terrified of what could potentially happen. <laughs> what was that? What was that? That was the quickest backflip I think I've ever done in my life. What? <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh, right on that spoiler. Are you okay? I think it is. Actually taking a pretty, couple of pretty big hits. All right, control that one. Jesus. Oh, I've uh, 
Okay, I've lost, I've got steering, but I've lost throttle. It's not a flat battery, I know that for a fact, because the battery is fully charged. Let's go and investigate, maybe something's overheating. Uh, I still don't have throttle. So I am interested to see what is going on. All right, back in a sec. Okay, so ESC is actually quite warm. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my temp gun with me. The motor is way too hot to touch. Like, way, way, way too hot to touch. Um, and the ESC is definitely hot. This is a thermal shutdown, is what this is. Uh, pretty straightforward. So, even with the stock gearing, obviously running the bigger, the bigger tires and trying to run this thing off-road on 6S, it's just not uh, really usable power. Uh, I'm gonna try this again. I'll bring the car back here another time when I have a 4S battery fully charged that I can fit in here. And uh, we'll, we'll go again on 4S uh, here at Altona. But for now, I'm gonna leave this one here. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, speak to you soon. Bye.